Hi, I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Candace. Welcome to Aisle by Aisle. We're taking trips through the grocery store to share with you a few tips we've learned about making healthier food and drink choices. In this segment, we're going to talk about meats. Let's talk about beef. I learned a while ago that one of the ways to literally cut fat and calories was to choose pieces that had less white fat marbled in the meat. I mean, sure, you can cut some of it off, but if it's heavily marbled, it's just not a lean cut of meat. When you're picking out cuts of beef, look for the word loin or round. When buying ground beef, look for the highest percent lean you can find. Usually that's 93% lean. And it's best to just avoid ground chuck and preformed patties altogether. Okay, well that makes sense. I typically buy ground turkey though. Well, the rules are the same when buying ground turkey or ground chicken. Look for 98% lean. Most ground turkey and chicken has the skin ground in too, making it higher in fat than you probably think. Huh. Also, when buying chicken and turkey, choose white meat over dark. And let's not forget about pork, the other white meat. Choose loin and round cuts of pork too. Ground pork is 30% fat, which is pretty high. What do you say, Jackie? Is it still okay to have bacon and sausage for breakfast? Things like bacon, sausage, and even deli meat are very high in salt. Honestly, I would save those for special occasions. Oh man, no deli meat. Even low-sodium deli meat has a lot of salt. It's best to cook extra chicken, beef, or pork at home and make sandwiches with your leftovers. Huh. Oh. I know you said sausage was no good, but I usually get this chicken sausage, so... I used to think that chicken sausage was healthy too, but the fact is that even chicken and turkey versions are not any better. Oh, another thing? Marinate meats at home. Pre-marinated meats are very salty and can have bad fats added to them. Another tip is to make your portions smaller. This saves fat, calories, and money. A pound of meat should serve four people. And if you're feeling really adventurous, Try going meatless one night a week. We hope this trip to the grocery store has been enlightening for you. It was for us. To get more information or recipes, or to download the tip sheet for this segment, visit us at myeatsmartmovemore.com. I'm Candace. And I'm Jacqueline. Thanks for joining us for Aisle by Aisle.